Hey guys, it is Brido here, and welcome back to New York Islanders via GM series. This is episode 13, and today's episode we have five games for you, but the best news about that is the old gameplay is finally done. This is the last episode of the old gameplay, and what that means too is I'll finally be able to play some more New York Islanders uh, via GM series and get it going once again for myself because I've been sitting around waiting to play some more gameplay and get you guys involved. And how I'm going to celebrate that is tomorrow we're going to do a live stream. Me and my brother are going to sit down, play the game for a couple hours probably. It's going to start at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to check that out, it'll be on Twitch, uh, Twitch TV. Brido is the name, similar to the one on the YouTube, so B-R-Y-D-O-0. And I'll be at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, so if you want to check that out, that'd be super awesome. The gameplay will be up on YouTube after the fact, so if you miss the actual live stream, it'll be there for you too, but that'll be a, a cool way to interact with you guys. And I don't think it's going to be the trade deadline yet. I'm going to do the trade deadline as a live stream as well. It's just an interesting way to see if uh, you guys are actually interested in seeing some live stream stuff too. As I kind of talked about in the past, I want to try it out a bit. And uh, I've really enjoyed playing with uh, FIFA 13 in the live stream format. I thought it would be kind of fun to uh, jump into it a bit too with the NHL 13 stuff. And maybe get a little bit more content up than I've normally been doing. So if you're interested in that, check that out. As I said already, uh, Twitch TV at Brido, same name of the YouTube BRYDO0. And uh, that will be up tomorrow at 4pm Pacific Time. So... That's uh, something pretty exciting, and I'm very excited because of the fact that this is all old gameplay I've been playing from, I, I guess it was February, so super long time, haven't been able to play uh, the series because I wanted to wait, I wanted to get your guys' opinions week to week again, because this is just kind of backed up information here, and I really haven't remembered the actual gameplay going on. So I'm very excited to uh, get into that there, and that's going to be a lot of fun to do that. But uh, on top of that too, you guys probably know because you're NHL fans if you're watching this, that... The uh, NHL 14 trailer is going to be coming out tomorrow or the day of the live stream. So be uh, informed of the fact that that's going to be some big news on the channel. I'm probably going to do some kind of essentially just analysis of the trailer. Look at all the stuff they're talking about. Look at the big features that's going to be in the next game. And really break it down for you guys because that's one of my favorite things about this series. And a lot of times uh, in the past, this uh, NHL 13 I haven't played as much because of my other commitments on the channel and overall just... How busy I am with my life nowadays but but in the past you know I've had NHL series every single year for I almost want to say a decade so I've been a big NHL fan for such a long time I've sunk hundreds and hundreds of hours into the series probably over a hundred hours on each one as well so I've had a lot of love for this series and uh, I really love looking at what they're doing for the next iteration of it so when the tra or trailer comes out it will probably be after or you know, actually, it probably will be before the live stream, so I'll be able to talk about it a bit on the live stream, which will be kind of cool. I'll have an actual video up to kind of dissecting the trailer, which should be a bit of fun, and then we can also talk about some of the features, what you guys are interested in, what I'm interested in uh, on the live stream as well. So, some cool stuff. I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with that, and um, there is that one screenshot up yet. I've seen uh, kind of the neat things I've seen from that. Well, not really neat, is that the... The fans in the background are still the same fans. I think that's something that they're going to change once the next generation of consoles come out, which is going to be this fall. So probably this game is not going to be a next generation game, or it's not going to be on the PS4 or whatever the new Xbox is going to be. But at the same time, too, they might have like an up res version for those maybe later on in the year. Uh, but this one's going to be the final game for this generation, most likely. So they're not going to have big, big graphical changes, but I really think they're going to kind of focus more on some uh, tweaks to the franchise a bit more, and hopefully some really cool stuff too, but it'll be interesting to see kind of where they take that, where they go with their ideas, and uh, I'll wait a little bit more to actually talk about that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be going up close here to the trade deadline. I was hoping to get this through a little bit faster so that we actually be at the trade deadline in real life, mixed with the trade deadline of our New York Islanders series, but unfortunately, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to, and we're going to be a little bit behind that, but as I said, We'll do a live stream for that too because it's a lot of fun going through that little uh, time period there where you're making those final trades. And I've gotten your guys' uh, input from the past couple of episodes. Really appreciate it. Some interesting names thrown around there. And uh, that's one of the reasons why too I haven't really played anymore because I wanted to make sure that when we got up to date here that you guys were involved week to week and really talking about the injuries because one of the problems with this is that you know we had some big injuries happen in these uh, couple weeks that or the past, I guess, four episodes or so are all just indicative of stuff that has already happened, already things have gone on. So I haven't really touched on a lot of the injuries, but the Islanders really have had some injury troubles this season, and that's both hurt us and also let us see some uh, younger players too on the squad. So it's one of those things that's not always a, a terrible thing, but 
I definitely say some of the past woes that we had, the reason why we brought Chris Higgins into the squad was really to try and make sure that we're kind of fortified and also to help with us uh, the fact that Tavares was out for a bit, Weiss I believe was out for a bit, we also had, I want to say Brad Boyce too, and it was just kind of all over the place of those injuries. I didn't really touch on them again because I was trying to just get the, the main highlights of the show and uh, make sure we're up to date on that and trying to get closer to the actual place we're at now. But one of the cool things I'll be able to do when we go ahead into the next episodes is I'll be way more week to week with you guys because I'll play the games on that week, then record and uh, also edit it at that point, talk about it and set it up for you guys so you can respawn to me before we get into the next week of games. And that leads to a way better cycle too because then we're both on the same page of what's going on. So yeah, that's one of the things that will be more exciting too about that. But uh, with the trade deadline coming up, I'll be continuing to look at what you guys are interested in. And uh, kind of putting that together, I'm going to take a look at our squad once more. Because I I'm quite familiar with who we have, but I want to make sure I'm not bringing in any extra players that we don't need. We're sitting at a pretty solid spot and uh, I'll show where we are in the standings at the end of the episode. Because I got that there and also... The team stats, you guys can see that too. Kind of giving you an idea of how players are performing. Because again, we really haven't shown that much of that. And I want to get into that a bit more each episode too. So you guys have an idea of where everything is at. But yeah, our team's done pretty solid. We are uh, not sitting at the division lead. But we're still in a very comfortable position for the playoffs. And um, I think it's pretty safe to say that we'll make the playoffs. Unless we really have a train wreck of a final 30 games of the season. Which is probably not going to happen. But still, we should be pretty good there. And uh, I decided to add this highlight here of me fighting. I thought it was kind of funny going through the highlights that I realized, yeah, actually, I actually dropped the gloves for once. I think we were a bit frustrated at this point, not getting the goals that we really wanted to. And I rarely ever fight at all in uh, playing EA NHL games. This is one of those things that I did maybe in the past when I was younger. But whenever I played, uh, you know, let's say for a career mode such as this, I've never really done it because I thought, what's the point of doing it? Minus maybe getting your morale up and getting the energy of your players up a bit. But in this case, every once in a while, it's good to drop the gloves, good to get a little bit of that Venered Anger out, and we did there. Gravner getting the goal to get us back into this game here, which is nice. But one of those games where they're, uh, they got that goal there that they were really pressuring us for, but at the same time, too, it wasn't necessarily one that felt fully deserved. We try and get one here, and we're going to go into that back-and-forth shootout format that we've done in the past as well, which is always fun to watch, but... It's one of those things that I always get super nervous when I go into a shootout, especially if I'm recording it too, because I never really had that many great moves or anything that I really try and pull off. So I try and just do some crazy stuff like this one right here, just doing whatever and uh, Broder poke checks that away from me. But it's one of those things that I usually don't feel that comfortable doing. So when I actually do the highlights of it, it's uh, it doesn't look too pretty. My brother's not too um, worried about his style. He likes to back and forth play. Whatever goes in the net, he likes, and uh, for myself, I try and do a little bit more fancy stuff. At least I feel like I try and do that. Molson there with the little ripped wrist shot that goes top corner to keep us alive in this one here. This is one of those ones that went back and forth, too, and a bit a bit nuts that, you know, you, you can't score, you can't score, you can't score, and they're not scoring either, and it gets to that weird point where you're like, really, we shouldn't be in this anymore. And uh, this one, it goes back a bit and forth, uh, but we're able to uh, pull it out with a couple chances here and they keep retaliating so it, it was a bit of a funny one but I'll jump back a bit to one of the other points I wanted to make too and uh, this is something that I'm not too sure exactly with but regarding the live stream I want to see what the response is to it because the uh, FIFA stuff that I've done has been pretty solid minus the one I did uh, this week because I really kind of threw people through a loop because I thought I'd be able to do stuff on YouTube didn't really work out the way I wanted to so I'm gonna be sticking with Twitch so you can even follow me at Twitch as well and then I'll notify you every time I start a broadcast but what actually I want to do is I want to do one episode a week that is us actually playing a live stream and then another episode that is the highlights as you normally see it and the idea of this is to continue kind of creating a faster upload speed for the uh, series and I mean when we play the uh, the live stream maybe it'll be three or four games is kind of the idea of how long it's gonna be I have to wait and see how really the length plays out for that but the idea is that we do that and then we maybe have a four game highlight live stream or not highlight live stream but just a highlight in general so you'll get the uh, archive of the actual live stream maybe a day or two after the fact and then you guys can see what went on in that it'll be a two hour long video and then there'll be the normal highlights which are a bit quicker I'll try and go a little bit more detail and also talk about the injuries and uh, other stuff going on as well and for any big events especially maybe even the playoffs too that could be a fun live stream event to kind of pull together but what I want to do is I want to um, kind of set some dates essentially because I really feel like Friday is a solid day to uh, 
post the normal episodes. I was a little late this week on the Sunday. I might finagle that around a bit, but have it like on a, like a Friday and a Tuesday, so the Tuesday's the live stream normally, or the Friday is uh, the regular highlighted episodes, and kind of play around with that idea. So I'm not too sure on the exact dates. I'm going to probably have that for the next episode. If we do live stream, though, and it actually is a success, then we'll do go with that uh, format, but it all depends as well on how you guys enjoy it, how you guys receive that. So before we go into any more of that, we'll really just wait and see on the overall response from that, and if you guys do enjoy it, then that's something that we can definitely... Uh, do going ahead, but we'll wait and see, and I know it's a bit short notice, so I'll probably do it this week. We'll probably do this one as kind of like a flavor test if you guys want to join in. Like I said, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time on uh, tomorrow or Monday, April 15th, if it's already ahead from that. And um, yeah, the other one we might do on Monday as well. I'll have to look at my schedule for work and stuff, but we'll work it out so that it's kind of a similar format. And I'll give you guys maybe like five days heads notice or four days heads notice. So it's a little bit more time. So if you, you know, heard about this one late or just didn't really know about it or were already busy, then it's, you know, not... You can you can maybe pull some time together to watch that one rather than just being like, Oh, I just found out about this right now and that's happening. So, uh, yeah, that, that's what I want to try and do. But we'll wait and see, as I said, just to kind of see what the overall response for, for that is going ahead. Uh, but you can see here in this game, we actually have a good turnaround against Montreal Canadiens, a team that I think has done pretty solid this season in uh, the NHL uh, series that we're doing. I'm not too sure. I know obviously they're doing pretty great in uh, real life, but um, we'll we'll see uh, where they are in the standings at the end of the episode. But yeah, it was a nice win for us there. And you can see our record's pretty solid. 27, 15, and 6 is pretty good. And I've been pretty happy with our play. We've had a couple bumps in the past couple of episodes, just like I said, with the injuries kind of getting in the way overall where we weren't really clicking on uh, as high cylinders as we normally do, but uh, I think we've been able to pull it uh, back a bit. The interesting part I'm really excited to see is that both of us have not played the NHL 13 uh, series that we've been recording for quite some time now. I think it was February 28th was the last time that we actually did the Islanders, and maybe we've played a bit since then, but it really hasn't been that much, so I'm excited to see when we sit down, play it for the live stream tomorrow, how rusty we're going to probably be and uh, how that might impact the team because like I said I really want this to be not necessarily a, a bad series or anything like that but I want it to be realistic I really don't like watching personally I don't like watching other YouTube series that's like oh we won the Stanley Cup in season one and that's what I really had troubles with the past when I play uh, with the Vancouver Canucks I usually win the, the cup in season one which is something that they never do in real life but still something that would qu happen quite easily because they were a team that are pretty solid that you could uh, usually handle all right and playing on superstar makes it a bit difficult or a bit more difficult but at the same time too also adding the fact that we're playing of two different people and not playing as much makes this a lot more of a not necessarily stressful series but something that adds a bit flavor to it but uh, as you can see here we get the win as uh, against the Minnesota Wild which is a nice one for us to get there moving our record up once more and that is the end of the episode as I said for the millionth time if you want to check out the live stream tomorrow it will be up at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific time and uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time at the Twitch, uh, on Twitch, that is, at uh, Brido, B-R-Y-D-O-0. And I can't leave a link in the comments, but I can leave a link in the description if you want that specifically. But yeah, you can just go to Twitch TV and search me up there. And uh, yeah, like I said, 4 p.m. And uh, check that out. But for now, I'll leave you guys with the uh, standings here and also our statistics for the team. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for watching.